today I'm going to show you a special cocktail I like to put on to help with summer stress. Are you using one of these summertime fertilizers? If so, I suggest you stop because they will burn your lawn. Seriously, I don't understand how fertilizer companies could actually market a fertilizer with so much nitrogen in it. Like what were the developers actually thinking? I wonder how that boardroom meeting went. All right, fellas, the lawn lovers have spoken and we need to develop a summer fertilizer that will keep their lawns green all summer long. No watering, just green all summer long. I came up with a special blend, boss filled with potassium and micronutrients. Perfect for summer stress. Hey, stop. What do you mean no nitrogen? Are you kidding me? How are they gonna have a thick green lawn? Oh, I'm sorry boss. I'll add a small touch of nitrogen to the blend. What do you mean a small touch? Who do you think we are, the Milwaukee Sewage District? We need at least 20% nitrogen to get those healthy summer lawns. Sir, with the extreme temperatures we're having, people's lawns will burn, wither away, and die. You're fired. I'm putting 20% nitrogen and the customers will love it. And they'll have beautiful thick green lawns without your help, Johnson. Now get your ass out of here. Trust me, if you put that on your lawn, you'll burn it with that garbage. Out of all the macronutrients that you could apply, potassium is definitely one of the best things that can help with summer stress. It helps by strengthening the cells of the plant so it can deal with drought stress much better. I like to apply a quarter pound per thousand square feet of potassium. I'm gonna use this right here. This is a liquid fertilizer that has 6% potassium in it. It's aimed towards hydroponic growing, but there's a bunch of different products on the market that you could choose from. If you guys watch my videos, you know that I'm a big fan of PGR. So the next thing I like to apply is a small amount of PGR. The recommended dose is 0.6 ounces per gallon for my Kentucky bluegrass, but I'm actually gonna apply a little less than a third of that at 0.15 ounces per gallon, which equals to three milliliters per gallon. I find that a small amount of PGR suppresses the grass just enough so that it doesn't get damaged yet it still concentrates some of its energy down into the roots. The third thing that I like to add is some Super Thrive. Between me and you, I don't know how legit this stuff is but it makes me feel good that I just put it into the mix. They claim it has over 50 vitamins and nutrients and that it's based in sea kelp. A lot of professional summer fertilizers contain sea kelp so I like to add a quarter teaspoon of this into the mix. And the last thing is the trusty old surfactant to help everything stick to the blades of the grass. Now, let's get to spring. I apply this solution every three weeks to my lawn during high stress periods and although it's not the perfect solution, it's much better than throwing down all that other garbage that you could buy at the big box stores. I hope I gave you some ideas on how to deal with summer stress in your lawn. If so, hit that subscribe button. And with that, this is George from Princess Cuts. Peace.